and thanks for tuning in to the NASA SpaceX Crew-4 mission, a long-duration rotational mission to the International Space Station. I'm Kate Tice, Quality Systems Engineering Manager here at SpaceX, and I'm joined by NASA's Dan Hewitt. Now, we're just a few hours away from the final approach and docking of Dragon to the International Space Station. The crew is awake and ready to monitor the final steps, so let's re recap the mission thus far. Yeah, launch day preparations started early for the crew members on their launch day. About four hours prior to the launch, they completed their final medical checks and then join the SpaceX team to get into their spacesuits. And then after suit up in the NASA operations and checkout building, they walked out, waved final farewells to their family and friends outside, and then got on to their next destination, the launch pad. It was about a 20-minute ride out to pad 39A, where Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon were waiting for them. Just two and a half hours before launch, they ingressed, they got inside the Dragon spacecraft, walked through the, after walking through the crew access arm, got a last look out of the windows at the floor to Space Coast. Uh, and then got into the white room and into the vehicle. And then about 40 minutes prior to the launch, crew access arm retracted, T minus 35, the launch escape system was armed. That got the crew dragon ready to escape if necessary. And then we got on to the propellant loading. And so we were able to get all the propellants onto the vehicle. Uh, that started with about 35 minutes to go. So we got all of the fuel, the oxidizer on both the first and the second stage of Falcon 9. And then just five minutes before launch, we went into terminal count with all the onboard computers taking control of the vehicle and then of course the moment we were all waiting for at 3:52 a.m eastern 12:52 a.m pacific the nine merlin m1d engines ignited and falcon 9 lifted off from space launch complex 39a marking the fourth time humans rode dragon into orbit with falcon 9 first stage at full power our crew began their journey to the international space station in fact on the screen you see right now that's a live view of dragon on their way to the station uh, now, just after the T plus nine minute mark, the first stage landed on the autonomous spaceport drone ship. Freedom on Dragon to ground. Dragon SpaceX, Dragon to ground, ready to copy. Yeah, we just wanted to give you guys a heads up that uh, during the PAO event, uh, the light on the front of the... Uh, and so we weren't sure if it was still transmitting or not, but it uh, sounds like you were still getting it from, uh, from your end. Uh, but we wanted to let you know that that light did extinguish. SpaceX copies 10 meters. We are less than 10 meters away, so just about two minutes from docking. And so we'll might be right on the edge of getting that video signal back, but uh, the teams and we're still getting telemetry, so we'll be able to know when that docking has occurred, and hopefully we'll get our kind of our high data rate communication back soon and be able to bring that live video, but they're, they're closing in. We're just eight meters away now, uh, about a minute and a half from docking. We'll hear that call out for CHOP come about 20 to 30 seconds before that initial contact which again is that soft capture ring on Dragon's uh, docking mechanism interfacing with the international docking adapter on board the space station. We're driving in towards the Zenith uh, port, the space facing port on node two, and we've got just six meters to go. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture ring retraction is in progress. There's our first full view of Dragon. Dragon Freedom attached to the international space station. Up next, we are uh, going to begin the hard capture sequence. That's essentially when we are engaging the hooks uh, around the docking mechanism. Yeah, thanks to a quick refresher, ports the left side, starboard's the right side. <laughs> Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, ring retraction complete. Docking sequence is holding for MCS reconfiguration. 